Hi, you guys, and welcome to a very special, amazing, larger-than-life episode of The Boys About Spoken. We have a very special guest, someone who has been a good friend to me, and she is right here, Lady Rector. L.I.C. on the motherfucking What's up, Now, Lady Red, you know, you and I have known each other for a while now. You know, we met in Long Beach. <laughs> Would you like to tell everybody how we met and, like, how, you know, our friendship began? I want to tell them. All right, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you tell the story better. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm in the club, uh, Hamburger Mary's in Long Beach with my friend Andre. He's from the Ukraine. Very handsome guy. Check him out. Drunk on. as fuck. On I, was, <laughs> I was not drunk as fuck, first, first of all. Uh, lies you tell. <laughs> I, I, I believe her. I believe her. Contrary to popular belief, there was a time where I didn't drink at all. Now, when you met me, I was beginning to drink because Andre would always buy me shots. So he was getting me drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so Andre and I are like drinking, whatever, and we see this Glamazonian woman in the distance. <laughs> and then um, we go take a picture, and I just, I've noticed something sliding down my backside, <laughs> touching all <laughs> over my butt while we're taking the picture. And I look over at this lady Red's hand. Yes. <laughs> all yes. over me. Yes. And she hands me her, her business card. Yes. And then uh, the rest is history. Really is that how you would consider her? <laughs> <laughs> we saw so her right house, but is she a yeah, good I friend? Know, I, just <laughs> yeah. I just want you to tell your version. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's, that's my version. You want to add anything to that? Now, the truth is, <laughs> <laughs> went to Hamburger Mary's, which I used to do all the time. Yeah. And um, always have a good time. Everyone knows we have a great time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see this, like, 6'4 dude. Like, yeah. and he's black. I was like, oh. <laughs> it's a rarity in Long Beach. Baby. <laughs> What's up? Right. Mind you, he drunk. Drunk, honey. Because the little rich man was buying him all kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Every two minutes they turn around, oh, would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? Okay. <laughs> so we're chatting, and he's like, let's take a picture. And I'm like, yeah, let's take a picture. Yes. So we take a picture. Of course I'm feeling on him. Look at that. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't call it feeling, I'd call it groping. Um, um, state, well, that's station, really. There <laughs> many, many, there's many little queens that would love to be groped by I this mean, woman right here. You're right. You need it, though. You needed it. Let's you, be honest. Something told you me she it. went back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she obviously didn't care too much because here we are. <laughs> years later. Yeah, you know, you know I, I like the attention. <laughs> <laughs> I like the attention. Yes. I mean, but we, you know, he's come over and we've had a good time and I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but she's trying. <laughs> when was the first? Time you ever did drag, like, like so this is where it becomes difficult for me. Mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing about drag. Yeah, I was naturally this is how I look with my mom. Yeah. I look just like my mother. Yeah. So I didn't realize it was drag or dressing mm -hmm. up as you know what I mean. I was like whatever. I'm a little right. feminine, whatever you know. And I grew up in a black neighborhood, mm -hmm. so it wasn't mm -hmm. none of that. You know, oh hey, it was yeah. like what's up? Who are you? What yeah. do you? You know what yeah. I mean? So you had to be very like confident in yourself to start off with. Right. So um, what happened was when I went to college. And because um, I went to college in um, Job Corps. Okay. Okay. So when I went to Job Corps, I met so many different people. And then I met this, these four girls from Kansas City. They were so bad. They were big black girls, like big tall black girls. Mm -hmm. And they love weaves down their back and stuff. <laughs> yes. They was like, you pretty? And I was like, you pretty too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so then it became like a friendship. And then they yeah. would smuggle me because the dorms are separate in, um, in Job Corps. Boys dorms are on this side, right. girls dorms are on this side. And the two shall never meet. So I was getting smuggled into their dorm every other night. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what's up, girl? Come on, girl. <laughs> so then that caused me to want to do more feminine things. So then um, they started doing my hair for me. At one time, I had um, braids all the way yes. to the back of my neck. I, I remember seeing that. Yeah. I remember seeing so that. So yeah. I've done that in college. At that time, they were blonde. Because, yeah. you know, I was trying to fit in with the girls. So we just going, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> At one point, I didn't even have to wear makeup. Yeah. So it wasn't drag for me. It was just like, oh, that's how you look. You were just right. naturally feminine. Yeah, yeah. But then as you get older, you know, testosterone kicks in and things. Yes. And you'd be like, wait, <laughs> oh, my man. <laughs> 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 okay. yeah. So I started early, um, but it was mostly in yeah. college. And then um, after that, like, I went to this bar in um, Utah called Lily's. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, being so nice to me. I had girl. <laughs> and then the drag queens grabbed me and dragged me in the back. And they were like, oh, oh. girl. Oh. <laughs> that so is I'm not how it's here. Yeah. Right? No, no, I didn't like that here. Yeah, but I didn't even know. I was like, whatever, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I guess it was the black thing with yeah. the big thing. So that was like really exciting and then yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool. The next thing you know, 
the um, hostess comes in. She says, hey, she says, what number are you? And I said, what? Because <laughs> I was drunk by this time. So she's like, what number do you go on the show? And I was like, I'm not in the show. She said, what the fuck? She's like, are you serious? I said, like, yeah. So then she was like, what? You're not performing? I was like, no, I just came to hang out. <laughs> so they were really friendly to me. I started coming back to the bar all the time and they ended up putting me in the show. So yeah, yeah that's when I started like funny. doing drag and lip syncing. And I became so good at lip syncing. Um, but then I knew I could sing because I had been playing the organ for 20 years. I was going to say, I've seen a yeah. lot of queens throw down with some vocals and you are one of them for yes, sure. You can First sing. time I ever seen you perform was at Hamburger Mary's with the one here in WeHo. Yeah. And I was going to see my girl Vicky Box when yes. she first started. Yes. First started yes. and that's when you did CeeLo Green. Yes. And I was like, oh, this bitch can sing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was probably around the time that uh, Calpurnia and I were running the Saturday Night Show. And yes, we had, Calpurnia was we there were, too. Yeah, yeah. We were, yeah, she was hosting. Well, we hosted together and we would always bring in, you know, new talent. And we met Vicky and I was like, She's a little rough around the edge. <laughs> <laughs> she reminds me of a crunchy Jackie Beat. Crunchy Jackie Beat. No, but the great thing, that's all what we all start out as bricks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. We always start out yeah. say there's always three trucks of queens. There's bricks, there's buildings, and there are cathedrals. Mm, so nice. we all start out as bricks. There's no shade in that. We yeah. all start out as bricks and mortar. You know what I'm saying? Real four. <laughs> Real hard. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do. Then we become buildings. That means we're building our career, building our brand, and we're causing people to want to see us. But mm -hmm. you can't you can't see a building unless it has stuff in it, and that's when you become a what? Cathedral. Yes. yes. Like that. But then some other bitches become tabernacles, RuPaul. <laughs> oh, wow. you know I, mean? Yeah. I mean, well, you don't have to worry about it. You, no. you could go to worship whatever you get ready. Right. Oh, God. That's like the Vatican right there. Right. 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 I appreciate all of that. You know what I mean? I just, I'm, I'm still grateful to be in the business. I've been in the business for like 20 years. Yeah. So I'm oh, grateful yes. to be in the business, to be relevant, to be fun and silly and having a good time. Yeah. And even yeah. living in this fucked up America that we are now in, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all why. We're talking about this too. Yeah, yeah. 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 I want to hear this because yeah. we need some type of hope. So, you know, give us some hope. Yeah, well, it's not even hope. It's just reality. We mm -hmm. all, it's, it's the way you think. If you think bad stuff, it's going to come to you. So you always have to remember to think a little differently. That's why people always be like, oh, my God, Lady Ray, you're so shady. I'm like, bitch, I live in the shade. Yes. And what, what it just simply means is you accept what comes along, you change what you can, and then you make sure to put a mark, a bookmark in this life so that you won't have that happen to you again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, you know preach. what I mean? You never yes. forget where you come from, but you never accept bullshit. Yeah. Never accept Bullshit. Let me say that one. Yeah. Yeah. Never accept bullshit. So many people have told me I wasn't going to be nothing. I had drag queens tell me, you'll never be a drag queen. You're too masculine. You're too hard. You're too this. You're too that. Mm -hmm. too whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, I'm sitting here. I'm soft as a motherfucking rose petal. Yes. Feeling good. With yes. a still with a big giant dick. So now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. We have children watching this. <laughs> <laughs> we have everybody in the DMs. <laughs> What challenge do you think you will succeed at? All of them. <laughs> yes! yes. I'm a Everyone knows I'm a wicked, wicked bitch. But it's only because I live in my honesty. I don't lie to myself and I tell you just like it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I know what I am. You know, I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing and wolf's clothing in sheep's clothing. Yes. I'm all of that. You know why I would win? Because I'll be the first fat girl to accept herself and really be who she is. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? You walk in your truth, you stand flat-footed. Mm -hmm. I can't wear heels all the time. I wear yeah. a size 20 in women's. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like that I can't fit in heels, then you find me a motherfucking shoe cobbler and I'll fuck you. <laughs> right. right. Other than that, I'll be wearing my flats. Yeah. <laughs> so how did your collaboration with Johnny come about? Hey, Queen. I was working out in um, Hamburger Mary's. Mm -hmm. And I did a show um, with Calpurnia. And Calpurnia had this friend. And she said, he downstairs. And I said, oh, okay. So I come out and I perform. And this little white man jump up and he's going crazy. And he's throwing money. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I came back upstairs. I was like, Calpurnia, what's this? I was like, we got a crazy dude. Yeah. And she's like, that's my friend, John. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, no, he's cool. And she was like, he's famous. And I was like, oh, okay. 
So then in the gospel number, I run through the entire restaurant. Mm -hmm. And when I ran, he reacted so crazy. Like, he was going in. Like, we was really in church. Right. And I was yeah. like, what is got the spam. <laughs> <laughs> so then when I came back upstairs and I talked to Calperny, I was like, who is this dude? And he comes upstairs and we meet and we talk and stuff. Mm -hmm. So then he invited uh, me and the other queen to do this video. Digmatized. Uh, oh, yes. and I was like, okay, so we did digmatize together, and everything went good. And I was like, okay, this is cool. That's also yeah. where I met Miles uh, Moody. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my goodness, you know, okay, hey, whatever. I'm gonna click mm -hmm. now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then after that, we got in contact with each other. We had always been friendly, you know what I mean. So we had got in contact with each other, and we um, decided to do Rich White Woman. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like a remake of a song that he had did for another queen. Yeah. And I was like, well, I don't want to win. <laughs> So I'm going to sing it my way. <laughs> so he was like, okay. So then we did that. But then, you know, me and Johnny started working together. And then he was like, oh, we're going to do this thing called Hey Queen. Would you be on board? And I was like, Hey Queen, what's that? He was like, it's going to be like a talk show. And I was like, a talk show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm like, it's going to be some bullshit. He's <laughs> like, like, whatever. Like, How much do I pay? You know what I mean? Right. Right. So Johnny just let me be me. Which yeah. really worried me in the beginning. Because I was like, so he was like, just do you. And I was like, are you sure? He was like, yeah. So then like our first episode, I was laying down. I was like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want you to be jumping around, uh, singing, and being all, you know. The craziest thing is y'all don't know how early we film. Mm. Everyone thinks we film later in the day, and we don't. Mm. Which means I, as the only queen on the damn show, for mm. real, I have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning just to get started. Mm. So by the time we get to filming, if I'm not high, I have an attitude. <laughs> no, you and me both. No, you and me both. Because the guests will be rolling in, and I'm like, good morning. You know? <laughs> and then they'll be like, oh, I'm going to put my stuff down. And I'll be like, you're welcome to my dressing room. <laughs> Where is Johnny? Where is he? I want to see him. Uh, Where is Johnny? Where is Johnny? the story over here. We got to hear it. Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> is he here? Hold on. Is he here? Is he? Is he? Is he? Johnny! <laughs> is, he, is he here? The dogs oh. down the street can hear me. Yes. Johnny! Yeah, my ears are ringing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>